Hi guys, welcome to Broads Cast. I'm Kim. I'm Jackie. We're Broads Casting. True that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about me medical marijuana. True that. Yeah, I know, right? Right. So nice hip. segue. I'm so down with my bad self. Um, medical marijuana. There's a little. We girl... should do a show just on that kind of stuff. Just PS for future. All of it. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm getting off topic. Random, medical marijuana. It's just random. Me. Um, medical marijuana. So there's a little girl who's seven years old in Oregon, and she is one of the youngest medical marijuana patients. Um, she was diagnosed with leukemia last year. And so, um, first of all, I want to know, it's a two-part question. Um, I want to know what you think, first of all, of, of a seven-year-old taking, well, you know, smoking okay. a joint. So there has been studies to prove that uh, marijuana does have a healthy uh, not a healthy but a um beneficial beneficial impact to people that are dealing with cancer leukemia um any kind of medical issues um i would say that from a medical standpoint if she's under doctor's care that it's being administered in a reasonable quantity that they're monitoring um, her intake and mm -hmm. her uh, reactions to it etc that if that's what's helping this girl survive and helping this girl be um, pain free quality or of life. quality of life is enhanced. Um, I guess I don't yeah. have a. I mean, it's not like she's sitting there on her bed, like smoking a joint. They put, you know, ma marijuana into a pill form or, you know, other. I just wonder at this day and age, why is that the only, like, why is that the best thing to be giving her? Like, with all, I mean, is, is that the healthiest choice for her? I mean, is it, is it right, in but... pure form? Is it, you know, being, uh, does it have other things added to it? Then why yeah, not just give any, her a pill? But are any me medications? That's what like, I'm saying. So is is that the most natural, healthy? No, but I'm saying for her? any medication to me is right. like harsh on your body, and so right. So that's that's what I'm yeah. saying. So yeah. if, if that is the most natural way to be to to provide her with a, a pain free existence, right? Then I would fully endorse that right. rather right. than some medically induced, chemically enhanced pill, right? Is, is my point. So we want to know what you guys think. So comment um, and let us know. I mean, is that something you think? I mean, if that improves the quality of her life, um, you know, would you would you go that far in, in for medical marijuana for your seven year old? And then the second part of this, though, is that her parents are divorced and her dad lives in North Dakota, and he is completely against it. And so I thought, as a single mom who co-parents with somebody far away, and I say <laughs> co, sorry, yeah. co-parent, yeah. Um, that's all I'm going to say, but how is that when you give up control, when you send your child to another house or you, you know, you, you don't have a lot of control now, right. I'm sure when it comes to healthcare, there's something that can be done in court or whatever, but please. Well, I, I think, I think that's too prong. I think that the, the, the system, dep depending on what their divorce, uh, Divorce agreement. agreement, thank you, um, which is a joke, agreement. Divorce agreement um, <laughs> says, I mean, mom may have full decision-making abilities. Dad may have taken the back seat to that. I don't know right. that. In my specific case, um, I have full custody over my son. We have joint legal custody, which means he is allowed to be part of the decision-making process, mm. although he has a 24-hour window to say yay or nay to decisions that I make. Like what kind of decisions? Decisions that revolve around medical care, mm -hmm. um, religious decisions. Uh, if I put him in temple versus uh, going to church, um, if right. I decide that I want to like become... in general, like like if you considered going to church on Sunday, do you have to call him and? No, ask? I mean it's really changing the course of our of our direction. I mean it, that's a bad decision probably. I mean if we are we are opposite religions, so if I decided to become Hasidic Jews, I would probably have to get that. He would have to agree to that. Mm -hmm. um, but. No, if I decided to, to expose him to different religions, I would not have to get his approval. Right. When I wanted to change schools for my son, um, I gave him the option to go research the school, um, and he could have 24 hours to veto my decision, but he has to be able to provide me with ample argument. Mm -hmm. um, and if I didn't agree, then we'd go to court. Oh, he provides with ample argument, but yeah. we'll leave it at that. So, so I also want to so think, this, you so know. Na, so in that case, I mean, to, to, and to answer the rest of it, relinquishing control, it is very difficult when you – share visitation um, with a, another spouse, uh, another parent that doesn't necessarily share in the, the process views. through the same views, it is it is very difficult. Um, so I can feel for both of these parents. Um, this right, is a very, right. I, I don't know I, what I, I would do. I can feel for that guy yeah. too, because yeah. I mean, I feel like if my child had leukemia, like whatever helps I'm willing to do, 
however, he's got to already feel helpless right. being so far away. Right. And so I can imagine it's just got to be such well, a struggle. I don't know their relationship. Right. I was but... just going to say, unfortunately, we don't know all the backstory. Right. Um, in my situation, if my husband, ex-husband came in all angry about a decision I would make, I would probably not lend a tremendous amount of value to it because of his role in our lives. Mm. So I don't know, again, here how right. active, how right. communicative they are, how amicable their relationship is. It might just right. be, I don't want my kid doing drugs, right. but it's not really doing drugs. I mean, yeah. we're, we're taking a lot from the headline, um, but it does bring up a lot of good questions. Right. About. And I want to know, you know, for some of you who are out there and, and, and have to parent children with somebody who's you know not in the same house like how do you do that how do you make decisions how do you somehow co-parent especially when you know you don't necessarily have the best relationship well, but what so. happens if you are in the same house and you have opposing views very I mean, very it, true it, it, it shouldn't really but matter. my husband and i agree on every single parenting decision <laughs> ever made it's the pot <laughs> um, but I'm serious. That's like so, even... that is so wrong. Not the pot pot. Well, that's uh, so wrong too. But yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's such a great point because you can be in the same household have, because you, you, you parent your children based on what your own knowledge is. Right. And so if you come from different backgrounds, it's really difficult. So like my ex-husband would probably trying to be stealing the pot <laughs> from our kid. We're going to leave it at that <laughs> comment guys. We want to hear what you think. See you next time. Thanks for listening.